And good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday. I'm Tom Yamas, and we begin tonight with the breaking news about the horror on a Missouri Lake. The NTSB now saying that ship faced near hurricane force wind gusts. The boat caught in that dangerous storm, wave after wave flooding the vessel, at least 17 people killed. What we're now learning about the chaotic and heartbreaking final moments. And tonight, the bedside interview from inside the hospital, a mother who somehow survived sharing the devastating memory of losing essentially her entire family and the shocking instructions she says they were given about the life vest on board. ABC's Victor Okendo in Branson starting us off. Tonight, haunting words from a survivor of the deadly Missouri duck boat accident, recalling the tragic final moments of much of her family and how she struggled to survive. I couldn't see anybody. I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear screams. I just, it felt like I was out there on my own. Tia Coleman, speaking from her hospital bed, was on an annual vacation with 10 other family members when disaster struck. Finally, I said, Lord, just let me die. Let me die. I said, I can't, I can't keep drowning. I just can't keep drowning because that's how I felt. And then I just let go. Coleman says when the waters on that Missouri lake became choppy, people grew nervous. Everybody started getting like, hey, this is a little bit too much. The duck tour boat tossed around by strong winds and six foot swells caused by a severe thunderstorm, finally capsizing and sinking. The last thing I heard my sister-in-law yell was grab the baby. Coleman losing her husband and three children, the youngest just a year old. Her 13 year old nephew, Donovan, her only relative on board to survive. Her family, nine of the 17 killed that day. And I said, Jesus, please keep, keep me, just keep me so I can get to my children, keep me, Lord. And I was swimming, I was swimming as fast as I could. And I couldn't reach, I could not reach the life jacket. Coleman claims her boat, like this one, trying to escape the same storm, had life jackets, but nobody grabbed them. They showed us where they were. They said, but don't worry about it, you won't need it. Something the NTSB and the Coast Guard may hone in on during the investigation. The real uh, objective is going to be to find out what kind of information they had on board when they made the decision to go out. We went out on Table Rock Lake to the spot where the duck boat went down. We're told that duck boat just comes right down that road right there. That's where they enter the lake. And then the ride is really short. It really just goes right around this way, around Duck Island right there, and then it's right back to shore. At 6.30 p.m., a severe thunderstorm warning was issued for the area, including Table Rock Lake. 30 minutes later, that storm turning deadly for passengers on the boat. We've gathered information about the weather conditions at the time. We've got recorded anemometer readings of 53, I'm sorry, 73 miles per hour. To put that in context, hurricane force winds are usually considered starting at 75. That's only two miles an hour difference. Tonight, one of Tia's relatives desperate to know why the boat's driver took them on the water. My biggest question is why did that boat go out? For Tia, now out of that hospital bed, the thought of going home is overwhelming. Since I've had a home, it's always been filled. It's always been filled with little feet and laughter. And my husband, I don't know, I'm gonna do it. Tom, both the NTSB and the Coast Guard will be focusing on those life jackets. They'll also be looking at several factors like the weather and interviewing everyone who survived, but they won't be able to get a closer look at that boat until it's pulled from the bottom of this lake on Monday. Tom? Yeah, those instructions about the life vest no doubt will be a big part of the investigation. Victor, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.